Today's reading uh, is from the 10th week in Ordinary Time, Wednesday. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen. I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. My brothers and sisters, the gospel, the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today we hear a continuation from the Sermon on the Mount, and it may strike us a bit odd. It strikes us odd because Jesus' ministry was constantly arguing with the Pharisees about the law and the prophets, and it was quite evident they didn't agree on very much. Matthew was writing for a Jewish audience, specifically for Jewish people who had become Christian. He was trying to help them in trying to resolve this difficulty of what it means to be Jewish and at the same time to be Christian. When Jesus refers to the law and the prophets, He's referring to the first five books of the Old Testament, of what we call the Old Testament, and also the books of the prophets. In other words, the entire Hebrew scripture. What Jesus is saying is that God's will was revealed in these books of the Old Testament, and that God's will and God's purpose cannot be negated. However, he goes on to say that he is there to fulfill the law. In some ways, he is the object of what the Old Testament was pointing to. And in this sense, the law and the prophets would always remain true. However, we also hear from Jesus that the law was written for human beings, that human beings were not made for the law. We also hear that the letter of the law kills, the spirit of the law gives life. Jesus' entire ministry was meant to prove that the higher matters of the law, which were mercy, truth, justice, and love, supersede all of the details of the law. And we too in our own time must incorporate that mercy, that justice, that love, which the law proclaimed, which the prophets affirmed, and which Jesus fulfilled in his own life. So let us today pray for that grace to be, and to be that law of mercy for our world today.